I'm going to go through another example, this time where we have to use rounding. So we went through an example where we did rounding with hypotenuse last time. We're going to go through another example here where we use rounding for the shorter sides. So here, let's go through. We've got a tri triangle here. I've got three sides and now my colors work for some reason. I've got my X, which is my missing side. It is a shorter side this time. It is a shorter side because it is not the hypotenuse. What is my hypotenuse? My hypotenuse is the length directly across from my right angle. So here, the value of C for this triangle is 10. And I've also got this other side, 7.6. So here, let's substitute. Let's do the steps here that we put right down. First step, I write down Pythagoras' theorem. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. After I've done that, I'm going to substitute and rearrange. Here, instead of writing A, so what I need to do is I need to substitute all my parts in. Here, instead of writing A squared, what's the length of, what's the side, what's my missing side? My missing side isn't A this time, it's actually X. So instead of writing A squared, I'm actually going to write X squared. So here on the right hand, left hand side, I'm going to go X squared. And that's going to be equal to, if you remember, it was C squared minus B squared. So I'm going to put in the value of C or my hypotenuse. So here it's going to be 10 squared. And it's going to be minus, instead of plus, the length of my other shorter side. So B, so 7.6 squared. So that's my second step, substitute and rearrange. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to square and subtract. So here I'm going to put this into my calculator. So I'm going to put in, oh, I'm going to put in 10 squared minus 7.6 squared. I got 42.24. Okay, so 42.24 is my value of x squared. So that's my third step, square and subtract. Now that I've done that, I need to, I'm not looking for x, I'm looking for x uh, I'm not looking for x squared, I'm looking for x. So what I need to do is I need to take the square root. So here I'm going to go x is equal to the square root of this number that I found here, 42.24. And so I'm going to put that in my calculator. I'm just going to write square root. Now because my answer is already from the previous part, 42.24, doing pressing A and S will give me the answer square root of um What's it called? 42.24. So here I've got 64.499230. Now, if you have a look at the question, however, the question asks me to find the answer to two decimal places. I need to round this to two decimal places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the first two decimal places. So 6.49. I'll look at the next number, 9. Do I round that up or down? 9 is bigger than 5 and so because of that, I'm going to round it up. So I'm going to add one to the previous number. So here it's going to become, I'm going to add one to that nine. When I add one to nine, it becomes a 10. So I need to put one to the next one. So it becomes 6.50. So here, for my final answer, I've got X is equal to 6.50. Okay. So here we've gone through another example, but in this one, we're using rounding. If you need to go back and watch these two examples, um, just to see the steps, feel free to go back and pause and rewind and see if you need a bit, uh, if you need to go through a certain bit again, I'm more than happy for you to do so.